Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, I can. My name is Henry Nurminen, and I come from the company Finmaster Boats. And we are from Finland, and we are producing Finmaster Boats, but also Grandessa, which you see on the other side. Okay, we have a new boat here, as you told me. Yeah. This is a model from Sunday, you said, or something? No, on, on la uh, last Saturday, when the show started, at 12 o'clock we launched this new Finmaster F11 weekend boat. Yeah, it really looks great. What is the special of this boat? Uh, it, first of all, it is a boat, first, first boat in, uh, in, in this family series which we started, we have, like you see on the other side, we have day cruiser boats and then we have pilot boats, but this is the first uh, version of a family boat. Ah, I see, so this is for spending a week or two weeks or something. Yes, exactly. And, and you can build up your, your boat how you like it. This one is open, but if you like, you can also... have have back doors here and uh, where you can close it. you can close it so it's like the Grandessa 30 there are the doors uh, I see yes you yes, can close those doors yes similar ones we put here and then you have a closed boat I see when it's cold when it's cold or it's rainy or you prefer to have a closed cabin. Is there any other way to close this boat? Or? Yes. You can see here the rails in the roof. Uh, there is a canopy that mm -hmm. covers this outer area. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I thought so that you can, in the standard version, I would say you can also close it, of course. Yes. And uh, I think that's also enough, yeah? Yeah, it's in, it in many, many, yeah. In, in, in uh, warm countries, maybe the back doors is not needed, but, but those who choose back doors can also have the canopy. So then you get a really big boat inside when you open the doors like that, and you have the canopy on, so you have a huge lounge area. So we are here in the living room already. Yeah. Here is the pantry. Ah, uh, we see. That is a domestic fridge, I see. Yes, that is... Open from both sides, I guess. Yeah, it is in Caravaning uh, the same. It's a good one, yeah. It's a good fridge to keep a few beer cold and some other yes. things. Kitchen, you have um, one plate, I see, or? Yes. And then that is. The sink and uh. the other one here for when you do your washes, you can put them here, or you can use it as a cool box. I see. I see. Ah, yes, good. If you want to cook, you have uh, a grill or something, a barbecue also? Some no. boats have it? No. No, no, not on this boat. And it's, ah. it's not in the option list either. Ah, I see. But so. back to the kitchen equipment, we have also a cooling box. Ah, yes, for so cooling is enough. Yeah, so, so this is good for, for instance, the drinks. Mm -hmm. Use the fridge for other Ah, I see, I see. So this would be the place where, we, where you would stay at daytime? Yeah. Then you can drive the boat. Yeah. Um, is there any option to have a TV here or something? TV can, can be an option. You can do it several ways. We can uh, put in the cables already there and, and you buy your own TV after that. But you can also purchase a Wi-Fi and TV antenna for the so many people nowadays use pads, you know. They internet. Tablets, tablets. Yes, yes, that's true. So, internet is possible. You have a router, you can, as an option, we can order a router and it can be uh, by a SIM card or something. Yes. Ah, that is good. So, I see if you would go, that yeah. seems to be the living room. Maybe you before, go first. Before, yeah. Ah, you have something okay. else to show? No. Yes, I, I can show you. Something. Okay. So, uh, you adjust the table, uh -huh. put it down. Or ah, it goes electrically. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And uh, if you step here, please. So, I can show you the storage. 
Ah, there's something happening. Unexpected. That is also new on the market, yeah? I never saw that before. Not, not in this kind of boats, but because we are using the same same structure and same hull, same deck module as in the Grandessa 30. This, in Grandessa 30 there is an inboard engine, but now with, this is with outboards, so this area... That is storage, yeah? Storage. You can put everything inside, will be kept... Bicycle, bicycle a bicycle course, is possible, yeah? yeah? Uh, whatever. Good. Never saw that before. Amazing. That's really cool. And this is here for just a normal standard 220 yeah. volts power. When you have the short power. Ah, only then? Yeah. Ah, you have no... Um, we, we don't have a generator. What is it? A generator in English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Converter. Converter, yeah. yeah. But it is an option? Uh, yes, you can have it, but at the moment uh, it's not an option list yet. I we see. We have to figure out uh, what version we are going to use. Okay, maybe we can show you can explain some things over there. I see the steering wheel, of course, for the captain. Which is a tilted one, so you can, when you stand out, up, up, if mm -hmm. you see from here where you are driving. Ah, I see, I see. And in normal driving position like this. Uh, two engines, two levers, and a joystick steering, which means that you, you can basically drive the boat using only this. Ah, uh, yes, many boats have this yeah. now, I think, yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And with Yamaha, Hellmaster is the name of the uh, joystick system. Yes. Uh, it's very, very easy to drive and uh, a very good system. It's much more easy to drive than the yeah. years before. Yes, so, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That helps a lot. Yeah. In this boat we also have the electrical system is called digital switching, which means that you can operate from here. You have the maps. You have uh, your own Finmaster. You can you can program it and, and make it look like you want. This ah, is individual. Individually, yes. And if you order a, uh, as an extra option an electric roof, yes, ah, match, the roof is an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you can operate it from here. Lights goes from here. Ah, really nice, yes. Can you also control that by your smartphone or that is only a system yeah, buy, that is kept inside? You, you can buy uh, a product called Garmin On Deck Hub and with that you can put on the lights with your smartphone, you can put the fridge on. And turn it on, turn yeah, it off. Yeah. And the heating? Heating also. By your smartphone? By your smartphone. So you are in a in the city and say I come back maybe in two hours and I can turn on the heating and yeah. when I come it is warm. Yes, and the lights are on. And the lights are on, mm. good. And same thing in the downstairs and also exterior. Lights, the lanterna and the... The, the left and the right, the green and the red yeah. one, yeah. You can turn it off from here, but when you put it on, it shows you here, Every, all three are working. I see. So you should go, yeah. I think. Downstairs. I think you too go there. We have a toilet behind this door. Mm -hmm. And behind the other one this side, if you open the door, you find an other cabin which is behind the door. Ah, they also can sleep one yeah. person or something. Two, or two. two person. Ah, this is for four person can sleep here. Two plus two. Plus two. Ah, that is good. I didn't imagine that. I thought maybe two, but this seems to be really big enough. So that's what you mean for a family. Where would you suggest the children and where would you suggest the parents? 
it depends. Uh, in some cases, parents can be here. This can be made as a double bed also. Ah, I see. By you can in this side here. Take this off. Ah, I see. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if there is a boy and a girl in the family, they probably want to have their own beds, so they can use this, and parents can go there. Ah, I see. This uh, one is also big enough for parents yes. and persons whole, like me. Whole, whole boat, wide bed, which is this way. Ah, I see. And 150 centimeters wide. And how much is the length? I didn't. Uh, almost too much. Not 190. 196, if I remember correctly. 196, yeah. I see. 196 to 150. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. And actually, this is, this is pretty much the same. So, as you said, this is a world premiere. I understand this is the first time of this series. Yes. And is there something also special, you would say, that is first time in a boat on this, that is a premiere, you could say something? Well, I can say so much that, that this is a very sporty family boat that, that moves uh, with the outboard engines very fast. Um, and and th th there's a special feeling when you drive this kind of boat with outboards. It's something special. So this is really a family boat, but it can be also a very a fast boat, a sportive yeah. boat. Yeah. How much kilometers do you well, think? We, we are not, not uh, talking about kilometers, we are not, uh, talking about nuts. So uh, with 200, 250, uh, two times 250 installation, you reach 44 knots. 44 knots, that is maybe 60 kilometers, something like that? Something like that. Right? Something like that yeah. no? oh, that's really fast. It is very fast, on the water. <laughs> yeah, for the water it is fast, yeah, I know that. Okay. Yes, thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. And uh, we will see each other soon, I guess. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.